Let's take a look at setting up digital signatures in the Foxit Reader. For this example, I've gone ahead and signed a little piece of paper uh, with a signature, and I've put it in the scanner and scanned it, and I now have a PDF file on my desktop with this signature. So you could follow this process. You can sign a piece of paper and scan it, or uh, alternatively, in this video, I'll show you how to sign with your touch screen uh, without having to sign and scan with a piece of paper. So you'll either need to have a scanner handy, or you'll need to have a touch screen device uh, so that you can capture your signature. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at my screen here. And uh, you'll see that I've got this PDF file saved. And I'll open that up in the uh, Foxit PDF reader. Uh, the first thing that we need to do, actually, is to some way or other convert this over to a JPEG or PNG image file. Uh, so that we can go ahead and set this up as a digital signature in Foxit. Um, looks like my thing came in sideways, so we'll go ahead and rotate that. And I'm just going to zoom this in. There's probably more precise and scientific ways of doing this, uh, but I'm going to zoom this in a little bit so that we can see this up on the screen at a nice size. Um, that looks pretty good. And I'll get it centered on the screen. And then I'll go ahead and use this snapshot tool to copy this signature up to the clipboard. So I'm just going to click on snapshot, and then I'm going to draw a little box around the signature, just like so. And it says the selected area has been copied to the clipboard, and we'll click OK. So now I go to the Start button, click on the Start button, and we'll just type Paint. Uh, it's going to open up the uh, Paint program in Windows. And then I'm just going to paste. There's the signature. I'm going to save up here. Uh, go to my desktop. And we'll just call this Joe Signature Picture. We'll go ahead and save that. And at this point, we now have a picture of our signature saved on the desktop. Another option, if you have a touch screen, is to simply create your signature on your touch screen device. So we'll go ahead and use Paint. Open that up. And I'll enlarge the screen there. Expand that out. Um, choose a sensible brush size and we will go ahead and I'll just use my finger here on the screen and you can just kind of sign something like that if uh, if you don't like it we can go file a new don't save there, there's Joe and now we'll go ahead and save that. Put it on the desktop like this. Joe Signature 2. And we could use that in the uh, Foxa Reader just as well as the other signature. Now we'll go back to the Foxa Reader and I'll show you how to set up both a digital ID and a particular uh, signature style so that we can sign uh, our PDF documents in style. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then we'll go to our Preferences. File, Preferences. Uh, scroll down here to Signature. I notice I've got a couple appearance styles already. I'll go ahead and create a new one. Click on New. And then we'll just call this Joe. The uh, graphic that we just set up, we're going to import that graphic, imported graphic, browse, go back to the desktop, and now I see Joe's signature picture. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I always like to uncheck these boxes here, location, reason, distinguished name, box, version, and logo. Uh, so it just likes like this. You've got your signature digitally signed by, and your name, and the date. And we click OK. So now we have an appearance, a digital signature style called Joe. We'll go ahead and save that. 
Now we will need to set up a digital ID. So we'll go to Protect, Digital IDs. Yes, I have one here, but I'll go ahead and add another one. Add a digital ID. And we're going to start with a blank digital ID, a brand new one. So we choose a new digital ID. Next. And we want to store this in a file. Uh, there's two ways to store this, but we'll go ahead and store this in a file for now. And uh, we'll call this Joe B. Smith. And you can fill in the rest of your information here. Joe puts your email address there. And we'll tell it where we want to save this. We can go ahead and save it on the desktop. Uh, might be a better idea to save it in your My Documents somewhere where you're, you're going to keep this file. Uh, if you ever delete this file, or if it ever gets moved, you won't be able to use your signature. And then we'll set up a password here. Now you want to be sure to choose a uh, secure password, but make sure it's something that you can remember. Uh, you will need to use this password every time you sign. I will uh, set up a subsequent video to show you how to link your digital ID with your Windows password so that you can uh, sign without having to put in a password every time. But I'll go ahead and put in a password here and just make sure you remember this password because you'll have to use this every time you sign. And then we will finish that there. So now we have the digital ID. Now, suppose I have a document on my desktop that someone has sent me and they want me to sign it. We'll go ahead and open this document up. Uh, well, actually that was just my signature. We'll go ahead and open up this evaluation form. Uh, this is just an example. Um, we would fill it out as needed. And then when we get to the bottom, it asks you to sign. The purple fields, you just have to click and sign as. Usually this would already be prompted to your name, but I'm going to choose Joe. Appearance style is Joe. And it's going to ask for the password. And there we go. And sign. The next time you sign, uh, everything should be prompted for you already. So once you sign, as soon as you sign, it prompts you to save it. Usually I can just overwrite that form and just click Save. If I want to give it a new name, call it Signed. Um, we can do that. So Sign and Save. If you prompt to overwrite, then you'll have to have to say yes. Okay, so we've signed this document once. Now suppose that we were actually reviewing this and we wanted to sign this again. We would just uh, click on another signature block and everything is there. All we have to do, put in your password, click sign, save, and we'll go ahead and overwrite this this time. Yes. And there it's saved. Now another option might be that you have a document that doesn't actually have any signature blocks at the bottom. Um, you may just uh, need to put that signature somewhere without a signature block. You would use these tabs along the top. Go to Protect and Sign and Certify, Place Signature. And your arrow becomes a little crosshairs. You're just going to use that to draw open a box somewhere on your page and it's going to prompt you to sign, put in your password, sign, and then we're going to have to save it, save, and yes.